I think it's safe to say that every girl has a conversation with herself about what she would do if she found herself pregnant. I'll be real, I always thought I'd keep it, but I really didn't expect for it to actually happen to me. Okay, so I say we tell them after dinner, before dessert. Okay. Or do you think it's better to hear this kind of news uh, uh, on an empty stomach, you know? That way they don't have energy to react? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Or maybe we uh, just use this time to get them to meet you, you know? And then we could email them a week from now. That works, right? No, but, but So when are we gonna tell them? We didn't agree. We don't know when we're gonna tell them. What? Hi, perfect timing. Dinner's just ready. Mom, this is Rita. Great to meet you. Adam's told me nothing about you. Come on in and tell me everything. Hi. So, how long have you two been together? Uh, like, uh... uh I guess we first met in September. So, so three, four months? Ah, uh, the honeymoon stage, huh? <laughs> Did you see... Adam, he normally doesn't bring girls around to meet the family. Okay. It's been, what, one, two years since Melissa was here? Okay, Dad, we don't need to. Oh, my gosh. Are you two in love? Oh, uh, I wouldn't say that we were necessarily... We, we have a lot of mutual respect for one another. Yeah. Yeah. Well, since the whole family is here together, Mark and I have some really exciting news to share. Uh, isn't it a bit uh, early in the meal to be giving big news? Guess what, guys? I mean, we haven't even finished our salads yet, Carol. Can't this wait? As you all know, <clears throat> Mark and I just did our engagement photo shoot this past week, which is perfect timing because we finally set a date for the wedding. Oh, that's it? That's, that's the news? Yeah. yeah. And we make cards and everything. We got this cartoon date, like the dried fruit, and it's on a deserted island. And it says, save the date. <laughs> yeah, didn't you two already do that? Um, we got engaged already, yeah. But now, there is an opening at our dream wedding venue. So, it's time to mark your calendars. <laughs> Don't you mean save the date? <laughs> <laughs> because we are getting married September 17th. Oh, honey? What? No. No. What's wrong with the 17th? Uh, I mean, well, I mean, isn't it a little weird to have your wedding two weeks after my birthday? Isn't that weird? Right, Rita? That's weird. Oh, I don't know. Why can't you have your wedding in the, in the summer like a normal person, Carol? Okay, the date is immovable. And we are really excited to finally get married. Are we doing this? Uh, yeah, I think we kind of have to. Okay. Uh, so, uh, didn't want to upstage anyone, but you know, since we're all giving big news, uh, mom, dad, you're gonna be grandparents. Congratulations! <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing news! Oh, yes. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. Okay, I've got it. I've got it! We can throw a wedding next month. Uh, what? No. Wedding? No, I mean, one wedding and a baby seems like plenty of work. Wow. Well, I just figure if you guys are going to be doing this, don't you want to make a real commitment? Mom, what's more committed than having a baby? But what about marriage? What about it, Mom? Marriage isn't what it used to be. Everyone gets divorced. No offense. Oh, it's okay. I'm gonna be an auntie. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously we got a long and bumpy road ahead of us and buttloads of adulting to do, but yeah. Looks like our family just doubled in size. <laughs> I'm gonna be a grandmother. 
Well, what do you kids do? Oh, uh, well, we just got an app on my phone that says we're due in September. Gosh, what day? The 17th. <coughs> Should be an exciting day. Okay, round two, here we go. Yeah, now I'm nervous. You know, we don't, we don't have to tell them tonight if you don't want to. No, just the fact that I got my mom, dad, and stepdad in the same room is a Christmas miracle. This feels like coming out all over again. I'm gay. When I came out to my dad, he was choking on his tears, trying not to show his blatant disapproval. Children. I tried to sweeten the blow by taking him to his favorite restaurant, but it just made for an awkward public display. Oh, please. Then there was my mom. With her, I got denial. She's just trying to control you. I was hiding my girlfriend. I finally wound up telling my mom in therapy because I was so scared she was going to kick me out. Did they ever get over it? Kind of. I mean, eventually they agreed to meet my girlfriends, but our relationships are pretty far cry from perfect. I'm sorry. And now I get to tell them that I'm having a baby out of wedlock with a dude that I am, was maybe kind of, sort of dating. Well, no matter what, I'll be there for you. I know. Dad, Mom, Terry, we're going to have a baby. I'm pregnant. Welcome to the family. Uh, Terry, go get the champagne out of the freezer. <laughs> In my last marriage, we tried for kids for so long, and, and you have no idea the miracle God has given you. <laughs> Thanks for being so supportive, guys. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> well, that went well. Guess this is the point of no return, hey? I know this is going to sound really stupid, but I'm kind of pissed that my parents were so loving and supportive. How is me being pregnant out of wedlock better news than me being gay? So you're mad that they were supportive? Yeah, a little. That's insane. Good night. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, don't you want to hang out or something? Celebrate this weight off our chest? I just want to be alone tonight. Cool. Sit down.